Hi, this is Abe from Visionscape, and today I'd like to show you the all-new Virtual Property Online. We've changed the way virtual properties display online in order to make it easier for you to browse, edit, and share your virtual property designs. Now, whenever you log in to Visionscape.com, the first thing you're going to see is your dashboard. This is where all of your virtual properties are displayed. If you're a professional user, you'll also see your logo and company information. To switch between the virtual properties, you can select them from the thumbnails below, or you can view them in a list. The most recently updated virtual properties now appear first on your dashboard. To edit a virtual property, click on View. This is where you'll see all of the assets associated with that virtual property. This means all of your screenshots, walkthroughs, uploaded plans, and uploaded photos or images will appear here. You can switch between the assets by clicking on the arrows here, or by selecting them from the list below. To edit the title or description of a virtual property asset, click on Edit Title Description. When you're done, hit Save Changes. You'll also be able to set that asset as the cover image, which means that it'll appear first when that virtual property displays on your dashboard. Or, for our professional users, if that virtual property is public and it's on your professional profile, that image will be displayed first on your professional profile when that virtual property is selected. You also have the option to delete this asset. And for our professional users, you have the option to select publicly visible. If you don't want that asset to be displayed on your public profile, make sure that this box isn't checked. We can also edit the settings of the whole virtual property by clicking on Edit Settings. This is where we'll see the title of the virtual property along with the description. We have the option to enable shared access, which means that with shared access enabled, giving this link out will allow people to come and see our virtual property and see all of the assets associated with it, but only with the people that we share this link with. If we select Others Can Launch This Virtual Property, visitors to that virtual property will be able to open it up in Virtual Property Architect and explore it from all angles in 3D. For our professional users, you have the option to enable public access, which means that this property will appear on your public profile. If you do select this option, you have the option to also put in a public title, which will display instead of the virtual property name that you've given that virtual property. You also have the option to choose if you'd like that virtual property to be displayed first on your professional profile by clicking on this option here. You can transfer ownership of a property to another Visionscape user by clicking on Transfer Ownership. Remember, if you transfer ownership to another Visionscape user, you won't be able to get that property back unless they transfer it back to you. And finally, you can also delete a virtual property. Let's go back to the scene by clicking on Back to Scene. Any changes that we've made, we can see here with the title and description, as well as the visibility settings being displayed. For this virtual property, you can see that we have all of the visibility settings enabled. If you'd like to upload site photos or images from your computer, you can click on this button to upload an image. Finally, we have the option to like it, tweet it, plus one it on Google Plus, or pin it to your pin board. This is going to make it really easy to get your designs out there and get them into your social media sites with just one click. Let's go back to our dashboard. One final feature that I'd like to point out is this section below where we have new products, new design templates, and new video tutorials. This is a great place to see what we've got going on at Visionscape, 
since we're always adding new products and new features. We hope that you enjoy these features as much as we've enjoyed making them. If you have any questions, you can check out our blog, or you can email us at support at visionscape.com. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.